So, sequel to the 3D printed rocket, the team and I, we're getting some new uh, video things. We need to work out how it works, but let's see, is everybody here? So um, basically, what we did is uh, we 3D printed Where is it? Can you show it? Can you show it? It's actually massive big. It's like this big. How, how big? Can you stand up? So I'm a 2 meter tall guy and this is... You're 2.20? That's a very, very... Two. This is one. <laughs> this is one. So it's... And, and can you tell me how, how, how long did it take for you to print it? So printing this takes approximately 4 days and four modeling days. it, it's a matter of hours. It will depend on how long you work and here in the Trumi Tools we work day and night, so it's a fast process. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. And uh, you build it in stages, so the fins was built by itself and then the top. And we also made uh, ready for uh, for the fuel, so we could do any, everything. But uh, the issue is that, um, yeah, what is the issue? We are not allowed to do it. Yes, please. Uh, don't like them. Okay, Adam, so uh, how much does it cost to uh, print oh, the rocket? It will be around 100 kroners. So 100 kroner, what's that yes. equivalent in euros? Uh, 15, probably a little so bit 15 less. 15 euros. Yes. And Alice, yes. if you can 3D print a rocket in how many days? Four days. Four days? For 15 euros? <laughs> what will that do? You're a logistic expert. What will that do to logistics in the future? We have no cost at all for transportation <laughs> and then I think we will lose on the job for logistics soon. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound good, doesn't sound good. <laughs> I was quite sad with my eyes. Yeah, it's <laughs> <Best> scenario. <laughs> so what fascinates you guys? You, you, you're working with this every day. Uh, you're doing all the, the drawings and so on. H how hard is this? Is, it, is this for everybody? Is just Tuma tools that's really nerdy or no, can everybody do this? It's super simple to do it. So actually it is a little bit terrifying because a rocket like that can be done by anyone. So uh, a, a child in, like not kindergarten, but let's say primary school could make a rocket and, uh, and send it into space. So this is quite a big thing, isn't it? So it's not for us to show that the uh, Earth is flat or not? Well, definitely not only for us. We can show others that the Earth is probably not flat, but, uh, but everyone else can see it by themselves. Everyone else can build such a rocket because it's super simple and it's super cheap. Uh, so. If you are in a country that allowed you to fly uh, a rocket, then that's try it yourself. Issue, yeah. <laughs> then we will send maybe a model to 3D. Uh, 3D model and then they can print them. So they have 3D oh. printers. Right? That's a little bit uh, touching upon what Adam just said. Uh, is the problem is we cannot we cannot fire it in Denmark. It's simply not legal uh, legal to do it. So we have to do something else. So we are actually currently speaking to a company in Arizona that has the capability to send up rockets, and they say that this rocket would be able to uh, uh, hit the stratosphere or the upper stratosphere. So. We'll try to, to do that and we'll include it in this video, the, the footage of it. And we find it to be very interesting. But the most interesting thing, for me at least, is we are probably not going to UPS this uh, or send this by, by, by post. We'll probably just send an email with the drawings uh, that Avo did and then they will print it. And that changes everything in logistics. Everything. Uh, so. Will it hit space or not? Absolutely. It will. It will, it will, of course. Thank you very much for watching. Five.